To demonstrate the powerful integration that the Everything Help Desk has with ZenWorks 10, we need to first log into the system as a system administrator. Once you have logged in to the system as the system administrator, you'll want to click on Asset Tracker, which is an option in the Accordion Pane menu, and click on Group Configuration. Everything Help Desk 9.0 is designed so that you can actually have different asset trackers tracking the assets of each group. As you know, the Everything Help Desk has a powerful asset management tool that can manage your assets as well as the integration with Novell's ZenWorks 10. So you can choose which asset tracker you want to track the assets in each of your groups. Facilities will have Novell ZenWorks 10 track our assets, human resources will have the Everything Help Desk, and IT will have Novell ZenWorks 10 track our assets. Then you hit save. The next thing that you do is click on the ZenWorks 10 configuration. Here is where, where you enable the Novell ZenWorks 10 integration by checking this checkbox, entering your ZenWorks 10 base URL, if you would like to enable EHD's VNC client as another option for the remote control capability of your ZenWorks assets, and you check this checkbox. Next, you enter in your driver, your server name, your database name, and your username. Once you have saved that, you can hit test, and it'll test your connection and let you know if that was successful. Once your ZenWorks 10 configuration is set up, to demonstrate the power of the integration, we need to log in as the technician. Let's say you received a call from Nathan at the district offices. So you're going to create a new ticket, change the contact name to Nathan. Then you're going to choose his location. He's in the district's office. His issue is with IT. As soon as I hit IT, you will see that the asset search box appeared, letting me know that ZenWorks 10 is managing the assets for the IT group. Next, I choose my category, Software, then my category option as Exchange, because he is having an issue with Exchange. I choose my assignment. Now you'll see that you want to make sure that you have the right asset that is ha having the issue. So you click on the Asset Search box. You will see that the first thing the application does is pull the contact name from the ticket and tell you what that contact's primary assets are. Underneath that, it shows you all the assets that the contact has ever logged into. Let's say he's logged into a computer in a computer lab, or he's had a computer in the past that might be having an issue. This will show you all the computers that they've ever logged into. To tie that asset to the ticket, you hit the green plus sign. If you want to pull up the ZenWorks 10 uh, asset detail page, you click on the pair of glasses and it'll pull up that page. Here you can quickly search and see the inventory that it has. It'll tell you the operating system, the total uh, hard disk space, any free hard disk space that's available. And from the summary tab is where you'll actually be able to click on the remote control section and use the built-in ZenWorks remote control to remote control that asset. If you would like to see all tickets that are tied to that asset, to help you know what's gone on in the past, you can click that icon and you can quickly click on a ticket or hover over to see what exactly the subject was in the past. Once you have found the asset that is having the issue, click the green plus sign and tie that asset to the ticket. Enter in your subject. I am having a hard time logging into Exchange. You can hit save. As soon as we hit save, you will notice that right here there's a link for that asset that when you click upon it, it takes you back to the ZenWorks asset detail page. But if you've had the EHD VNC client enabled, you'll see this remote control icon that when clicked upon will open up the VNC viewer. Once the VNC viewer has opened up, you can enter in your password. And as you see, you'll be able to quickly remote control into that asset and solve any issues that you might have. The last powerful part of the ZenWorks 10 integration is the reporting capabilities that we have. In the ticket search, we have now added a ZenWorks 10 asset search box that when clicked upon, you can search on all of your ZenWorks assets and tie them to a ticket. So that if you want to see a troubled asset report, you can select all your assets, group those assets by the ZenWorks 10 asset, 
order them by the greatest number of tickets and I want to show the top 10 and then I'll run that report. What this will show me is that development 1243, this workstation has seven tickets. So what we can do is we can drill down and see exactly what those tickets are. This critical data that is available in the reporting engine allows you to make critical IT decisions in regard to your assets managed by Zenworks. For more information about the Zenworks 10 integration and its powerful tools, or to try it for yourself, please download a free 30-day trial or contact us at info at grouplink.net or call us at 801-335-0700.